Um, that would be thunder. So YouTube, what I'm gonna do is show you how to make your own Thundercats Eye of Thundera Sword of Almond Sword. Now, like with any craft, you want to actually have some blueprints or a diagram to really get you going. And so, if you've seen one of my other videos, how to make a board game for 99 cents, I do. I use Bristol board, and I take the time to make it into one-inch grids. So here I took a normal piece of Bristol board, I cut off one corner of it, stuck it to the top, because I want my sort of omens to be a pretty long sword. So I traced it out, I uh, did as best as I could according to the original diagrams of what it's supposed to look like and from here I'm going to cut this out and this will be my template for tracing it out on the cardboard and making the finished sword. Here's the actual diagram of the sort of omens I cut out and this here is just one of the three cardboard cutouts I'm making for it. So just using my X-Acto knife here and for the edges the scissors I'm going to cut out three of these glue them together and then once they're glued together then it should be ready for the actual spray painting and making it really look good so here you go guys here's my three cutouts of uh, my main diagram there of the sort of omens so what I'm going to do is take in my trusty glue gun and glue these bad boys together and then press them down uh, actually I have to go out now so I let them press for about 24 hours and tomorrow we'll go into spray painting and designing them up and cleaning off the jagged edges and we'll have a kick-ass sword soon enough so now that's been pressed down and all glued together here's our sword the basic look of it it's looking quite good it's all nicely uniform and together and what I'm going to do now is spray the hell out of this. I got my different forms of spray paint here. I got metallic silver. I got some smoky gray. And I just got some gloss gray as well. And I'm just going to use the different types of uh, spray paint here to give the basic look to the sword. And also I'm going to add some black down here on the handle. As I'm going to do some magic with the handle. And after I'm spraying it or while it's drying... I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the computer to put some graphics on this bad boy. Now while uh, the sword is drying with the spray paint that I put onto it, um, we all know with the Eye of Thundera, the sort of omens, that it has intricate little designs on it that go on the handle and of course the eye itself. Now you could do this by hand. I don't have the dexterity or even the time or patience to do that, to do it by hand, to draw it perfectly. But what I do know is I know Photoshop. And so what I'm going to do, or what I have done already, is design the sort of omens on Photoshop. So what you're seeing right here is pretty much the, the base and the handles down here. But this is the main part of the sword. And you can tell the kind of like Gaelic, funky looking shapes in, uh, in black here that are actually part of the original Eye of Thundera and of course the Thundercat symbol in the middle. So this is actually going to be one side of the sword. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local print and copy store, print this off on glossy, very high gloss paper, and I'm making two copies of it so one goes on one side of the sword, one goes on the other side of the sword. And if I actually just show you what the other side is going to look like, get rid of the middle, uh, that little turtle thing, that's my corporate symbol for my company. So on one side it's going to be the Thundercat symbol, the other side is my little turtle thing. So when you design this, as I said, you could draw it by hand on the actual sword itself, or if you have the computer skills using whatever program you're comfortable with, actually design it out yourself. Like This is not exactly how the original Thundercat sword looks like. Of course, you know, just try to use the the guidelines and the different tools that come with Photoshop to do everything but you know I did a, what I think a decent job here and uh, just do it how you want to do it I try to keep the color the gray the same as it will be on the sword and like I said I'm gonna send this out to the printer cut it out um, slowly by hand and then I'll show you my pasting it onto the actual spray painted sword Alright guys, so um, here's the sword that's been spray painted. I made the handle black and I used metallic uh, silver spray paint for the rest of it. 
even though uh, a lot of this is going to be covered from here down but uh, and then I'm going to put like just a little um, gloss sheen over it to make it really shiny here we have uh, I showed you on my computer that I'm uh, made in Photoshop the front and back of the sword so one side has my corporate symbol, the other the classic Thundercat symbol. These are my designs based on the original sword. Some variations. And then I went to my local print and copy store, printed it on 11 by 17 glossy stock. And the same thing with the sword, I'm going to just put a, a kind of a varnish sheen over it just to make sure it locks in that even though this is not going to come off, I'm going to be play fighting with this, you're going to sweat. Just uh, putting a sheen over it will protect the image. So, through your local copy store, this costs like what, a dollar ninety-nine cents to do. So, I'm going to cut this out, stick it onto the sword, and then pretty much our sword is going to be done. So, just using some contact cement, I'm just putting it on the actual surface. and then sticking down the logo. So YouTube, I proudly present to you the Sword of Omens, the Thundercat Sword. There it is, a nice long blade, nice and glossy and shiny, the gray metallic spray paint and then the sheen over it. My logo on one side, the Thundercat's logo on the other side. You can see my own unique designs all over it, so it looks pretty good, handles well, so if any mutants come along, you could take them out. Now you can see that you could have your own Thundercat sword. Like I said, to make this whole entire thing, probably five bucks at most. As you saw with printing the actual designs was like a dollar, 99 cents. So I hope you like my design, my sword, and you know that uh, you subscribe to my channel, you're going to get even more ideas and more concepts coming your way. So, I'm the Homie Game Guru. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care.